Germany facing Turkey in our 10th contest of the evening. Uh, Jakob Steiben facing uh, Mormir Khan Shahin. And both of these guys have got huge credentials as uh, K1 and Muay Thai champions in their own right. But both of these guys lost in their last outings here at Senshi. So they both want to prove themselves. However, they fought so well that even though they lost, they were invited back. And that's a great thing about this organization. Performance gives you credibility. For sure. And that's how it should be. And it's not always like that with, uh, with the organizations. And it's not always about losing or winning. No, well, there's one thing that uh, I don't really want to mention uh, other organizations, but let, let's say America's biggest mixed martial arts organization. Mm -hmm. You get a three fight contract in your first first contract. And if you lose one of those fights, they can discard you yeah. at will. Uh, so talk about killing somebody's dreams. Yeah. And when you perform very good in another organization, you can come back. Yes. Oh, they're throwing blows or bombs already to each other. Yeah. Oh, nice wow. kick there. Yes. Well done. And Jakob from, from Germany looking very tidy indeed. Relaxed, composed. Yeah, that's what I'm used uh, to see from him. Um, and he really looks like he, he want to build his way up into the kickboxing world. Well, he's got those, ch he's got a European title, a Northern Thailand Muay Thai title. He's German Muay Thai champion. Oh, oh they're throwing both, they both throwing champion. bombs now. Really slugging it out. Yeah, slugging it. And at this weight, 95 kilos, every punch is going to have a telling effect. That's for sure. I like the way they go for it. Oh, oh nice punches there. That left yes. hand yeah. from the Turkish fighter landed. Yeah, Steven grabbed him the right moment. That He did that very good. They're both throwing it. It still can go both ways. Andy Sauer, our referee, telling them not to hold. This is K1 rules here. Senshi, full contact rules. So we allow them one knee in the clinch. Yeah, I hate that from the K1 rules. But that's, that's my thing. I understand it. But I don't like it. You prefer now that um, glory has changed to allow them five seconds w to work? Yeah, that would be better. And if there's no, if they they do they don't do anything, they, yeah, you can. If they're inactive, do then break uh, them up. Yeah. Break them up or warn them or if they do too much, deduct them point or something. That's what I would like. He's got a rangy right hand as a uh, Jakob Steiben. Smiling, he seems yeah, to be enjoying looks like himself. It, it's what I just wanted to say. But, uh, I don't know if I would enjoy uh, getting punched in the head sometimes. But Well, when the Turkish fighter, yeah. when Kashahin um, yeah. comes back, he's, uh, he float, throws his punches in flurries. Yeah, when he throws them, uh, he really throws them. And he's very dangerous then. Yeah, very dangerous. It's upsetting yeah. the yeah. German. Yeah, I wonder how the, the judges scored this one. Well, could be, it could go both sides, could be a, a draw, I, I don't know. They both throw bombs, they both made good moves. Well, I'll go out on a limb. I would give it, you, you've got to score the fight in the whole round, not just one part of it. And it's often of course. the judges see the last minute or the last uh -huh. 30 seconds when uh -huh. someone's busy. Yes. But I think overall, the German did more work and more damage. Overall, he did more work, but I think the biggest damage came from the Turkish guy. Oh. That's my thinking. Interesting. Yeah. But let's see. Yep. I'm going to make, I'm going to take note of that. <laughs> Do that, please. <laughs>
And that's again why we have three judges. Yeah. So it's true. And everybody can see it from his or her side. Yep. Anyway, it's an interesting fight. And uh, they're both very competitive to each other, towards each other. Yep, both good kickboxers. Yeah. Both explosive when they want yeah. to be. Absolutely. Now, there's a 10 year age difference. The Turkish fighter in the red gloves, 21 years of age, although he looks okay. older than that. Yeah. And our German fighter in the blue gloves is 31, so 10 years difference. Yeah, I think at, at that age, the difference is not that big, my opinion. You don't think? Well, I there's, mean, there's a I value in maturity. Yeah, that, that's 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 uh, that can be uh, uh, a big advantage, but it doesn't have to be. Mm. When I think about Mike Tyson being champion uh, at, 20. at 21 or 20. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, yeah, you're right, actually, environment, upbringing, yeah. and, your, and culture plays exactly. a huge factor. Exactly. Well, that Stevens should have more experience, and it looks like, like he's, he's, he's bringing the fight more to his, to his opponent. And, but it's still going both ways, so yes. very difficult to score, in my opinion. An interesting fight. Interesting to see how they uh, how they work on each other. Because they both attack. They both go for it. Mm. I mean, the only criticism I'd have is like there when they come t together and they, it gets sloppy when they're close in, and then they it, end up clinching. It does, but still, uh, the the Turkish guy is still trying to throw even from from close range you're trying to throw the, uh -huh. the, the shots and knees as well and the knees yep. and i think Stiben is getting tired looks like it yeah but still he's throwing yeah interesting they're both hitting each other they looks like they both don't care so much about their defense they just attack should be very interesting for the for the crowd, I think. Yep. Oh, that knee could have been dangerous there. Could have been, yes. Stiben's head was low. Yeah, but the, the knee was not high enough. So, last couple of seconds of the second round. And really difficult to separate them there. Uh, yes, but I think Stephen did better in the last seconds. And I don't know how important that is for the for the judges. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, overall in that round, uh, I'd have to give it, if I had to give it, 10-9 yeah. to Stephen again. I think so. And uh, Shaheen was starting good, but he's... He also he looks more tired when I look at him in the in the corner. Um, so I, I I'm really uh, interested in the next round to see how they're gonna play and fight each other. And this is where a good corner man Second really round. does earn his money by yeah giving encouragement. He can make the, he can make the difference. Make a huge difference. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Oh, okay. well, let's see. So third and final hey, round of our 10th contest of the evening. Full contact rules, that's K1, fought at 95 kilograms. We've had some absolutely fantastic fights this evening, and this is no exception. No, this is a nice fight. And Steven starts good again. He's constantly the one who starts the attack. And Shaheen has to follow. Yeah, Stiben's advantage is he's got those long-rangey straight punches. Yeah. But when he gets in close, 
the Turkish fighter comes back, guns yeah. blazing. But he, but Shaheen is, he's, he's grabbing him, he's, he's holding him, and and Stephen wants to fight. He's, he constantly wants to fight. He's throwing more than one, one, one move every time. And and Shaheen is only making one punch or one kick. Yep. And yep. Stephen, he has enough enough energy to make the spinning kick. And he's under attack all the time. And this holding is is spoiling the fight, really. It's spoiling the fight, and it and it and it costs uh, Shaheen the the fight, in my opinion. Stephen is making the punches. He's he's making the combinations. He's throwing constantly, try to to do something. And Shaheen is waiting, waiting. He comes for, comes forward, but he, he he doesn't work enough. Now it's Steven again. Steven, almost all the time, Steven, the one who starts. Now Shaheen is coming back. Yeah, right hand there from, uh, from Shahan. Shaheen, sorry. But it's too little, too late. I think so. Steven, that's what I like about Steven now. He's, I'm sure he's tired too, but he's still going, making the, making the moves. He's still starting. He's always the one who starts the move. And yeah, that's that's I think in favor of the of the judges. Yep. Yeah, this third round. Yeah. We're coming up to 30 seconds left, and this at, up to now, let's it's not all Stephen. Let's not tempt fate, but this is all Ben Steven in, in this third third round. Yeah. Yeah, Shaheen needs a big down or a out knockout, I think. To to make an uh, a draw or or a win, but he's you can see he's tired. Yeah. Exactly. Steven has the better the better uh, stamina. Well, exactly as you said, Steven mm -hmm. is tired. Yeah. But he's obviously trained. But he goes on. He, he's trained to push himself. Exactly. He's been this tired before and yeah. carried on, carried on. Yeah. And, and there we go. And that's very nice to see also. Uh, how he how he did that you can see he's tired but you can also see that he he did the job and that's uh, what they say don't they you know if you've never been in deep water you don't know what it feels like exactly so yeah and our special presenter for the awards is mr tariel nicolishvili the man who completed the 100-man committee? 100-man committee. Yeah. Ugh. That's, that's, if you want to know what being in deep water is. Ooh, that's <laughs> deep, deep, deep water. And can you imagine doing a 100-man committee, getting to no. the 95th fighter and giving up or no, I, getting I put would, it down? I'm <laughs> sure I wouldn't give up if I had 95. I would not give up, but would I ever get to 95? That's <laughs> the thing. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, but we can probably find a website so we, we can do the 100-man uh, kumite online sometime. Online, yeah, online. I would, yeah, 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 that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. So we wait for the judges' decision of this contest. Another great fight, and I'm going to give it to the German. And we have a official judge scorecard. And I think Ernesto agrees. Judge number one in favor of the blue corner, 30 to 29, Jakob Steven. Judge number two, 29 to 29, draw. Judge number three, 28 to 28, it is a draw. We will have an extension well, of the fight. Well, well, well. One more round. Okay. Okay. We get a little bit of extra gravy. Well, we, uh, I saw a different, uh, a different fight, I guess, but uh, that's okay. Um, it gives Shaheen uh, the chance to uh, to uh, to earn a, a, a victory of which I wouldn't thought he he could get that 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 chance. But let's see, who's uh, who who wants it the most? Yes. And I think this could fire both of them up. Steiben yeah. must have thought he won that fight. Yeah, He's had a little true. bit of extra rest now, mm -hmm. but he must be thinking, right, 
Well, he if looks like he looks like he's he's ready already. Yes. So. And I've always tried to tell people when I was mm -hmm. refereeing, mm -hmm. don't let your fighters switch off at the end of three rounds. No. Because it, that makes a huge difference. And you see some of them yep. start to take the gloves off and stuff. Yep. Drives me crazy. Yep. You've got to keep that fire burning. Yep. So here we go. And I'm expecting Stuyven to come out with all guns blazing, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So, some tidy boxing from Steiben. Oh. oh, they're both throwing still, yeah. they still throw bombs, both. And, and, and Sehan is um, still dangerous, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's just nice about this fight. A little bit of tape coming off the glove, which Andy Sauer's on yeah. straight away. But actually, they've, they've both got a similar issue. They both. Yeah, the right, the left hand Shaheen. glove of, uh, of the Turkish fighter has got a little bit of tape hanging oh, yeah, off yeah, as well. Yeah. I see it. So this round scored on its own merits, as we know. Yeah. <coughs> Forget the other three rounds. And Steiben here, determined, boxing very well, but the Turkish fighter is dangerous, as we know. Yeah. yeah. Two minutes left. Who wants it the most? Who wants it the hardest? Looks like Steven is now. Oh, there we go, Andy. Seen that little bit of tape. Yeah. Just sorting it out. And I was know. saying to Sammy Schilt earlier, Ernesto, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of um, celebrity referees, but you guys do an outstanding job here at Senji. But we know, we know, we know what to do. We know the job. We have, we have been there ourselves. So yeah, I get it. That's I, a big difference. I, I get think. it. I get it. But I've seen fighters referee as mm -hmm. celebrities, and they mess it up terribly. Okay. okay. Um, but, but you guys are conscientious. And you've studied the rules, and you, you're not prima donnas by any stretch of the imagination. You're not in there, all. focused and concerned about fighter safety, yeah. and you do a great job. So there, a pat on the back from me. No, oh, thank you very much. Whether that means anything? <laughs> oh, it does. I, I mean, no, uh, I, you always try to do your best. You always try to 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 do the thing that is that is necessary to do. Yeah. And. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I've refereed at the highest level, the UFC, K1, yeah. Infusion, so, you know, yeah. so uh, I, I know what I'm looking at. Yeah. And uh, you, all of you guys d do a great job. Good to hear. So we've got one and a half minutes left, halfway through this fourth oh, extra great round, great and Steiben is coming forward. Yeah. He's the more aggressive fighter. Oh, yeah. But every now and again, the Turkish fighter yeah, it's, it's, it's comes still, back. It's still difficult uh, to say. They still go for it. And Shaheen is a little bit more pressing forward. Always coming back with something. You can see they're both tired, but they still try to throw their best, to, to show their best. And the Turkish fighter... Shaheen is very, very fatigued. He's yeah, breathing Shaheen, heavy. Shaheen is tired. And it's, yeah, but still, he's although he's tired, he still knows that he has to to give something extra. Yeah, he's not the kind of guy who's ever going to give up, no matter how tired he is. I think um, that's how it looks like. Well, we're coming up to 20 seconds left of this fourth extra round and that was a nice right hand from the Turkish guy yeah. again I think it's difficult to score this one because they both made good moves and although uh, Shaheen looks more tired he's still working yeah and we scored it well I I, I thought the German won it Mm -hmm. So I thought the blue corner had it three rounds yeah. ahead, uh -huh. but the judges scored it a draw, so we yeah. really don't know what's going to happen. But well, the fight is close. 
it was close after three rounds. Uh, I thought Steven won, but okay. Let's hear some noise, guys. Come on. So it looks to me that the German did more work in that fourth and final round. Yeah. They were both super tired, but the German dug deep. Yeah, they both went to into, into deep water. Yeah. It is a 10 to 9 if no one has been knocked down, which I did not see. That means there will be a decision now. How do I read that? Okay, here it is. Judge number one scores the fight nine to ten in favor of the red corner. Oh! Judge number two. Sorry, that's a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> oh, the judge on, nine to ten in favor of the blue corner. Nick Petters is teasing us. Judge number two scores the card nine to ten in favor of the blue corner for a unanimous decision. There we go. Nine, ten, nine, ten for Jakob Steven. There we go. The German fighter wins it, and I agree with the decision, although it was close. It was very close. And I think the Turkish fighter, Mormir. Shaheen can go away. He's very young, 21 years of age. Develop his skills. He can yeah. become something very, very good. He has, uh, if he keeps on going like this, he can have a great future. And if he gains more experience and everything, yeah, I think so. And I think at a point like this, uh -huh. the, he should go back. The corner should yeah. tell him, lift your head up high. You know, you fought like a warrior, yeah. so let's use this not as a loss, but as a lesson. Yeah. And grow from it. I agree. I don't think I was that far uh, when I was 21. And uh, of course, uh, the sport has changed and there are far more fights and everything. But the way I see he fights at 21, I think uh, he can have a, a great future. Congratulations. I apologize.